morning guys it is saturday january 6 2024. i got started this morning with scraping a little after four the uh, custom and ore haulers are here there's just one tractor running hauling manure out while the ground froze because the uh, pit's getting full you can see that i can't see very good but the 2294 is sitting out there on the pump turned out every other cow and then uh, we'll bring new cows in here on this side then we'll uh, get them ready to milk switch the milker over to them and this cow and the other ones down through here every other one they'll go out we'll bring new cows in there while these here are milking and we'll switch the milkers over to them whenever uh, after we're done getting them ready so and here we got eight units so we just milk every other one we got automatic takeoffs but uh sometimes if you have them on automatic it'll pull the milker off before the cow's done milking so what we usually do is uh press this automatic button here and that puts it on manual if the cow's done you just have to press the automatic button and it'll take it off of it coming out here to run the rest of the feed in here for the cows we always have a half a batch to run in after we start milking every morning let's see if we can get this tractor started i think the block heater quit on it we let it plugged in for a while and it still don't make a difference on it so either the end of the cord's not making good connection or it's uh the extension cord or it's inside the block the actual block heater so we'll get that checked out sometime Right now, we might just have to get a little bit of ether to get it going.
clear fills up with water. And then there's some sort of sensor thing here. This here whole thing's on a timer. So after it gets filled up to, well, you can kind of see right here where it fills up to. It'll uh, suck the water up through the line. The vacuum pump will kick on, just like when you're milking. It'll suck it up, pull it over here to the receiver jar, and then from the receiver jar, it'll pull it through this uh, milk filter in here. We change that before every wash, so it'll catch any dirt or anything. It's still in there when it's washing. And then it'll take it out into the pipeline, and then bring it uh, back down, and it'll eventually come out here. And I'll come out the drains in here too as well. This thing it goes through a couple different cycles. So first is your pre-rinse. That's just hot and cold water. And then you got your second thing here is just hot water, I believe. And then it goes through uh, acid rinse. It also gets sanitized, so it cleans the whole pipeline and everything. You don't have to worry about there being any bacteria or anything in there. It uh, puts uh, chemicals in, sanitizers, and uh, detergent in over here. These three hoses on the certain cycles. And uh, like I said, that helps clean the pipeline and uh, prevent any bacteria growth. Full now, it's getting ready to kick on. Now that pump kicked on, that pump usually Pumps the milk to the tank, but it's pumping the wash water out to the pipeline now. There you go. Went and had some breakfast and come back up. Mixing feed right now. I got a bale grinding in the mixer. I go out here and fill the 2294 up with fuel and then put it in the shed. Today they're actually forecasting a big snowstorm. Well, it was supposed to be big when it started out you know as any snowstorm weathermen always uh exaggerate you know you know how that goes um we start out with a big amount we're supposed to get and now we're down to five to eight inches is the last we heard it's supposed to start around i believe around 10 uh, around lunch times when it's supposed to get pretty heavy and then go into uh, i believe midnight tonight sometime maybe or something like that I don't know we'll see uh, i guess it all depends on you know how the storm meets the it's actually coming up from the south i believe and it's supposed to meet some cold air coming down from the north depending on how it collides and all that's uh what's going to tell us you know how much how much we're actually going to get I had this tractor on the manure pump because uh 2290 is on the mixer still so we'll uh, get some fuel in it that way we have a tractor with fuel if the power would happen to go out or something like that. It is now later on in the afternoon here. As you can see, we're getting some snow. Probably got around two, three inches right now. It's still bailing her down pretty good. They're saying an inch an hour at first, but it's probably not quite that much um, because it's like two and it started earlier at 11, but it died. Uh, it's got to be around for a while. You can't even see the mountain, so. Yeah, it might add up pretty good till the night is over. I guess uh, we shall see. I've been working on this 2090 here this afternoon. Still haven't got around to getting the remotes tore off it, getting them rebuilt. But I am still getting stuff done to the tractor that I wanted to get done. I have all the main wiring harness and everything. That's all redone. I was doing that video back, I believe. I had uh, redid the main harness over here on the side of the tractor because it was starting to get bad. A couple places, and that goes clean under the cab there to plug. Also, buffed the paint out on this tractor. You can just see it shine. Looks pretty good, I think. It hasn't looked that great for years i bet i never remember it to looking this good but uh had some rust here in this paint took that surface rust right off and uh yeah this look at her shine makes a 40 some year old tractor look like new anyways the floor rotted out here so i had uh 
I bolted a plate to the floor there and then put a piece of angle in under and fastened it to the side here for support because dirt and stuff just lays down in here. It's feed mixing tractor, so it was constantly getting mud and stuff there. And it rusted that all out. But now I have that fixed up good. It had a big hole right there, but uh, that is fixed now. And this brake here is unhooked. There's two rods there that go down into your um, master cylinder, I believe, down in there. And the one just pulled out. It's been like that for a little while now. I tried fixing it before, but it popped right back out. So what I'm going to do now, I got some JB Weld here. I'm going to try and mix some of that up and stick down in there and put that thing together. Hopefully the JB Weld will hold it. This tractor had hit the house back in 2008. It, uh, one of the park teeth in the transmission broke off. Sent the tractor down over the hill into the back of the house. It wasn't a very good day. I don't remember it, but I guarantee it wasn't a good day. So this here hood is from a salvage yard. See they have the, I believe the date here and I don't know what all those numbers are. But anyhow, the whole hood and side shield screw, all that stuff is new to this tractor. It actually pushed the old hood through that window right there, broke that window out and went inside the cab and bent that brake pedal up around. So it had pulled that rod up out of that jarred that rod up out of there that's how it got that way so i'm gonna see what i can do get that other brake working it'd be nice to have two brakes on this thing done in the cab here now got that brake put back together just has to push down and there's like a on the end of that rod there's like a little wee ball goes down in the thing it clips down in there but it must be broke or uh, cracked or something and it keeps pulling back up out of there. Hopefully that JB welds enough to hold it. If not, uh, I'll have to think of some other way to keep it from coming out. But I think it should. Um, I don't think there should be a whole lot of uh, stress there on it. Just whenever you uh, let go of the brakes, you'll have to pull that thing up. The master cylinder there. But uh, yeah. So anyhow, now that we're done in there, we can go ahead and take the step off. And uh, that way when we get a chance, we can work at tearing this thing here off. I don't think it'd be too hard. You just gotta tear all these lines off and the linkages. And then I think it just bolts back to the tractor there somehow. I don't know. We'll get that done so we can get the tractor back on the mixer. That way we can have the 2290 to do other jobs. So it is now later on in the evening here. We ended up getting probably around six, seven inches of snow, I believe. Somewhere in that range, five to eight, I'd say. That's what they're expecting. I apologize for the poor audio and uh, poor video quality. I just uh, finished plowing some uh, driveways out, out over the hill. I come in. Power actually went off this evening, so I gotta check on this tractor here. And then I'm gonna run down the road. And my dad, he's out with the tractor loader plowing. Gotta get down. We're gonna plow a couple driveways and stuff out down that way. And uh, yeah, go from there.
got everything finished here at home and uh, everywhere else as well. Um, it's nice to be done after a couple hours of running the skid loader in the dark. You can't see nothing. It's uh gets to be pretty stressful, but uh my uh my knees they're sure feeling it right now. Glad I'm done. One last thing I need to do tonight is go find an extension cord to plug that 2290 in. The one we have down there, the end's kind of loose on it. And I'm kind of wondering if maybe it's not getting good connection and it's just not making the block heater work in that tractor. So uh, get another extension cord and we'll try that one in the morning. I'll let it plugged in for a little bit and see if that makes a difference. If not, it's definitely probably the block heater. We had put one on this tractor last winter. They just uh, go right inside the block there. You plug it in the winter time and that heats your, heat your water up. I'm not quite sure how it all works, but I think it's like a kind of a element or something in that thing. And then you plug it in and it heats up and it just keeps that water in there warm and it makes the tractor start a lot easier. But that 2290, it's always hard starting in the winter time, no matter what. You just gotta give her a little bit of glow plugs in the can once in a while to get her to pop off, but this tractor here, however, it's it's not quite as bad. It's definitely not as bad as the Soundguard John Deere. I'll tell you that. John Deere 4440. Man, them things start rough from what I've seen on TikTok. But uh, they make uh, for a good cold start video. But I don't mind a good cold start once in a while. But I hate seeing the tractors go through that abuse. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing uh, morning milking. I haven't posted a video of milking in the morning for uh, quite some time and we also haven't had snow for quite some time too because last year this was probably what we got today was probably what we got total the whole winter we did not get much snow at all last year I think the total was like maybe around eight inches or something I can't quite remember but it wasn't a lot compared to what we're used to getting. Back in the day we would always get the blizzards and stuff but now it doesn't seem like we uh, get the snow. We still get the cold weather but uh, we don't get the snow like we used to. This is probably going to be about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always if you did enjoy the video hit that like and subscribe button down below. That uh, really helps me out. Helps me grow the channel. Alright guys, as always, we'll catch you later. Have a good one.